thanks to God. May God bless you. May God keep you all. Let your church say amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. The scripture said, I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. It's time for us to draw the community into this church. The Lord anointed David when he was a young man. Wake up, young lady. Wake up, young lady. Now, you can make it to the club. You can make it to the house of the Lord. Now, get up. Grandma, I'm tired. Tired? You weren't tired last night. You just off that booty shaking, whatever they call it these days. Now, if you're going to live in this house, you're going to go to church, and that's law. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God, exactly. I told you when you came here that this house had rules, and one of my rules is that you got to get up and go to church. Now, if you can't go to church, you can take your behind back to Hollywood and do whatever they're doing there. Now, get your tail about this bed right, right now. All right, okay. All right, now you go to Sunday school or church, but get up. should be focused on the kingdom of God. The scripture said, let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. We know that Jesus was crucified Amen. for propitiation for our sins. We know that when he was crucified, that we were shot up, not shot down. And we thank God for shooting us up with the spirit of the Holy Ghost. And we have the victory today because we are guaranteed a victory by the Holy Spirit. How many of you know you got the victory? How many receive the victory? Victory is in your vision that God has given you. And when you're seeking your vision, grab hold on to it. Hold on to it tight. Don't let it go. Amen. That's why I preach, Pastor. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Good, talking about you. Preach. Amen. He's talking about you. Oh, honey, he's talking about you. He's talking, he talking about both of y'all. Talking about you, too. Sit back. Praise him. God that glorified you. Yeah. God that set you up in the right hand yes, of power. Lord. Yes, Jesus. God that brought you deliverance. Praise him. God that brought you justice. Oh, God that's given you mercy today to live in this country called the United States of America. Glory. God put you in the number one slot in the earth so you can be victorious. So you can march triumph. I know when Miss Nation told her this ain't no video shoot. Hallelujah. All right. So you can march triumphantly. She can walk under his anointing. She can go out by the highways and the byways and bless others. Yeah. Now we should be thankful and praising God every day and every night that we are blessed to live in this, this country called the United States of America. 
And we are here to receive the blessings so we can go out by the highways and byways and be a tabernacle, a reflection that God is good, God is kind, God is everlasting, God is eternal. Amen. Can the church say amen? Yes. Amen, Pastor. We love him with all our heart and soul this morning. We're here to praise him unceasingly. They said the fervent, effectual prayer of the righteous man availeth much. And we're here to avail much and to walk into the house of the kingdom of God. We are living in victorious times. And we're going to have the victory because we need victory to show people that we serve a victorious God. That was wonderful. Thank you very much, Pastor. And now we're going to have a selection from Sister Davis. If she would honor us with one of her beautiful songs. Let's welcome her. Church, say amen. Amen. Why should I feel discouraged? And why should shadows come? And why should my heart be lonely and long for heaven and home. For Jesus is my portion, the constant friend is he. His eyes on a sparrow, and I know he watches me. Yes, I sing because I'm happy, and I sing. Because I'm free, his eyes. Rachel, you don't remember me, do you? It's me, Nicole. I was only your best friend from kindergarten to middle school. Oh my God, Nicole? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> look at you. I can't Hi, believe this. Look at this. Look at you. Look at you. you... Nicole, come on. Change. Come on. So you know what? Oh, why don't you come to the church picnic? We always go there after church. Uh-huh. Wanna come? Uh -huh. All right. Of course. Great. I'll see okay. you there. Okay. okay, okay. Let's catch up. You didn't tell me Nicole was here? I was just... My Nikki! Oh. Oh. I received uh, Nicole, <laughs> so you want to introduce me to your Oh, son? I'm sorry. Oh, Miss Esther. Rachel, this is Daryl, my fiance. Fiance. Hi. How you doing? Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, too. You're the stuff. pastor boy, aren't you? Oh, yes, ma'am. Didn't you put on that wonderful production at Christmas time? <laughs> no, ma'am. That was my brother, uh, David. <laughs> I'm in charge of the music ministry. Well, it was wonderful. Your father will be proud of you boys. You're such a great contribution to the church home. Well, thank you, Miss Esther. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Hey, I think somebody said my name, and usually when I hear my name, I come on running <laughs> or hopping. <laughs> well, Miss Esther was just praising your Christmas production. Oh, well, thank you, Miss Esther. Uh, you know, I, I enjoyed almost every aspect of that production. Well, it showed. <laughs> David, this is my beautiful granddaughter, Rachel. Hi. Ain't she pretty? She most oh. certainly is. <laughs> Hi, Simone. Hello. It's Esther. Praise the Lord. Hey. Hi. 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 What an interesting little talk circle. Yeah, what's going Hi, on lady. over here? Have you met our visitor? Mm. Simone lately, Ed. 
third generation member of Bethany. <laughs> Rachel? Yeah. Ladies, ladies, Deacon Pops and the Usher Board just got here with the food. We need some help unloading. <laughs> she got some of that lard away. Oh, I don't know. Looks like he lost control. <laughs> Calories. <laughs> Stay thin. <laughs> well, Daryl's invited us to intercessory prayer tonight. Yeah. Oh, that would be really That's very nice of him. Yes, it was. Are you guys going to be on your knees? What's, what's intercessory prayer? <laughs> you know, I guess it has been a long time since you've been to church. Wow. Intercessory prayer is a time when we come together as a church to pray for all that needs to be prayed for. Mm -hmm. Today I'll be praying that you return to our church home again. Oh, that's so sweet, David. I love it when you pray for people. Mm -hmm. Girl, don't worry about it. Half these people yeah. can't even spell intercessory. Inter I can't even say it, so you know they don't know what it means. Okay. Oh, I don't okay. know. I can say it. Can you say it? I can say oh, it. Oh, I can say it. You can say it right. Rachel, darling, you must catch up, okay? Yeah. I want to hear about all the stuff you have going on, okay? Yeah, and you can fill her in on all that's going on in your life and how fulfilling your life is now that the Lord is in control. I know. So lucky. Oh, I can catch you every day. Miss Esther, you wait. Watch your secret control. Bye. So, um, are we going to be going, David? We're waiting. Yeah, we are. Uh, you guys can go ahead. I'll, I'll be meeting up with you uh, Ladies, shake a tail feather. I still gotta add the corn and prunes to the lemon surprise. Come find this cooler with me, David. All right. Space. <laughs> see, I'll, I'll see you all in a minute. All right, but well, we're watching you. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Miss Rachel, mm -hmm. I'd like to welcome you to uh, once again to Bethany. Thank you. I'm glad you made it back. I'm glad to be back. You know, it's it's good. good. It's been good to me. So. Well, hopefully uh, you keep coming. Oh, we'd, I will. We'd certainly like to have you. It won't be the last time, I promise. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Well, it was nice to meet you. Nice meeting you too, David. Okay. Thank you. I'll All right. Bye. God bless you. God bless you. Those are your church people? Shoot, I think I like the people from the club from last night way better. Yes, we are. You don't come to church for the people. You come to church for the Lord and you pray for the people. Besides, I know one church person that you did like. Oh yeah, Nikki. I love Nikki. I'm so happy. Girl, you know I'm not it. talking about no Nikki. What are you talking about? You let me know how they liked David at that club last night. And how do you know that? Because you came home last night. Grandma, what are you talking about? Girl, where you think you get your swagger from? Joyful, joyful Lord, we adore Thee, God of glory, Lord of love, hearts unfold like flowers. That was a real nice service today. Yes, it was. It wasn't too long either. That's good. Hope you learned something. Hey, you got a minute? See, I'm busy right now. Later. Yeah, Nicole, later. Yo, man, why you treat her like that? Uh, so what's going on with you and Simone? She's up a long way in her walk. Oh, yes, she has, and I'm very proud of her, let me tell you. Yeah, I think she makes a great wife. Yeah, I thought you were dating Nikki. Why does everybody keep calling her that? Her name is Nicole. That was her world name. Brother, you are losing it. There is no such thing as a world name. And, and what does she think about it? I mean, it's her name, right? Look, she allows me to be the man and take the lead. She's fine with my decisions. Oh, no, oh okay, master. Well, whichever way you want to do it, you know. Yeah, well, we were talking about you and Simone anyway. You know, you were totally out of line with Miss Esther's granddaughter. You disrespected Simone. You know what, now you out of line. Oh, really? Yeah. And what have I told you about minding my business, man? It's my business, Daryl. I'm a grown man and I don't appreciate that, all right? Yeah, well, you know what? Maybe you need to act like a grown man. For your information, man, there is no me and Simone. It's over. It's been over. It's been over for months. I don't have any idea why she continues to walk around here like we're still an item. Maybe because you should be. Look, I refuse to allow you or this congregation to determine what happens in my personal life. I like Rachel. 
you like her. Man, you don't even know her. Well, well I want to get to know her. And since I'm a single man now, I can. Back in like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Oh, so like 15, maybe 30 Ooh. minutes. My grandmother? Mm. No, I'm, I'm here to see you, Rachel. See me? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I just wanted to bring you this. Oh, thanks. With some prayer, right? <laughs> but seriously, um, I just wanted to let you know that I'm just a man, you know, on a walk of faith. I ain't no saint. I really appreciate this, David. I also wanted to invite you. We're having a special program at the church coming up uh, for our production. You can come. I'd love to. I, I, I really do, but I, I, I don't think I can make it. Because I have a film up north, and uh, I think I'll have to get a rain check on that. It's all right. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. When do you leave? I thought she was leaving now, but apparently not. This girl is always late. Okay, David, David. Elizabeth, my best friend. <laughs> but they call me Peaches because she's I'm... crazy. Because she's crazy. Anyway, hurry up. Mm -hmm. Okay, see ya. Anyways, as I was saying before I got so rudely interrupted, um, I'm gonna leave for a couple of weeks, but I'll be back and I'll come to Sunday school. You promise? Yeah, more than promise. I pinky promise. Oh, you pinky promise? Yes. A serious business now. <laughs> yes. Well, oh, that's the, that's the church boy you was feeling. Oh, I hate it. I really have to go. <laughs> so. Well, babe. Oh, yeah, I understand. I understand. Hey, look, I'm, I'm gonna let you go. I know you gotta get ready for your trip, and plus I gotta get back to the church. All right? All right, so I appreciate you coming. Thanks for coming. All right. And thanks for thinking of me. Oh, you have no idea. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. How do you know Rachel? Oh, we were childhood friends. We were very close. Yeah. And she stopped being your friend because you gained weight? Daryl! <laughs> oh, baby, I didn't mean it like that. But what she mean to you? No, not at all. We were very close. I mean, she was the only friend that I had. She had problems with her mom, and she went away. But she's back, so I'm just glad she's back, okay? I don't want you hanging out with her too tough. She is a woman of the world. <laughs> Your brother doesn't seem to feel that way. But my brother is going through a rebellion phase. David is going to marry Simone. Like I'm going to marry Nicole. <laughs> Nikki, baby. You can call me Nikki. It's just me and you. Nicole. You know how I feel about that name. Look, you're going to be my wife. Nikki is a thing of the world and of the past. Grandma, it's only gonna be for a couple of weeks. I know, I just thought you were through with that Hollywood stuff. No, I had a moment. I was feeling down, I was depressed. 
But thanks to Sunday school, I feel great now. I feel newly inspired. Honey, <laughs> Hollywood is full of demons. People just ought to get you for what, to, what you got. Yeah, but it's also full of great people, you know? I have a gift. And I do believe that it's God-given. I feel so alive every time I'm on stage. That's why, that's what makes me think that God is the strength that always keeps me coming back. You know? Well, I saw what you no matter what you do. So I, I don't want you out there struggling. People take advantage of desperality. Baby, I just want Leah to see you with a good man. And I know where that good man is. Bet you do. <laughs> What's this? Ah. Um, David came earlier on today and um, he gave that to me. Oh, he did? Mm -hmm. He wanted me to attend a Sunday session with him, but I can't go. Well, you can just go with him when you come back. Yeah. Um, I promise him that. So what church did David go to? <laughs> Bethany. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Talk to me badly, food sucks, but other than that, it's okay, I guess, you know? Why? Where do you want to take me? She told you about that place? Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so gonna kill her. <laughs> okay. No, I'd love to, I'd love to. Mm, two hours? Sure. Okay. Alright, I'll see you there. Are you sure you don't want to go get something to eat? I mean, I am not a baller, but I can take you to a nice restaurant. No, I love this place. When I was a little girl, and my mom used to do, you know, one of her disappearances, my grandma always used to come here and bring me here, you know, just to cheer me up. So I take it you're not too happy with this whole video thing right now. You know, after my father died, I, I went away to pastor school. And I thought I was gonna get there and just take off. I thought I had all the information that the Bible could teach me. I was so wrong. I just run back to my dorm and end up listening to Tupac all day. Wow. Are you surprised, huh? I mean, yeah. I didn't. I just didn't think that. Oh, you, you didn't think that the little preacher boy could could be into Tupac? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. I mean, no, not like that. No, no not like. You what? know what I mean. No, I don't know what you mean. Why don't you tell me? Well, I'm just I playing. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm just a person. My faith in the Lord is what keeps me on track. You know, David, it's so funny with you. Like, 
every time I'm with you, it feels, I feel newly inspired. You make me feel like it's okay to be me. It is okay to be you. I don't want you to be somebody else. All I can say is I love acting. The Lord plants these seeds in each of us. And we have to care for them. Something that you have to love. And one day it'll flower for you. That's just how it is. You're absolutely right. What time is it? Uh, it's about two o'clock. We can still make it to Bible study. All right. Let's go. Let's go. And leave all this, are you sure? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Now, now, could you clarify submissive? Because brothers be getting crazy sometimes. Exactly. Right. It's great. You always got something to say up in here. I mean, just, just yap, 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 yap. This well, is a Bible study. I'm studying, and I think you need to get in your word, too. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, you had a little bit of You really shouldn't argue in the house with the Lord. He's been back playing good I'm just saying, he came I'm keeping it real. Hey, I'm sorry I'm late, y'all. Yeah. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> Hi, Simone. Put some clothes on. David? Simone. David, I've been waiting for you for 30 minutes. I told you I would be here. Where were you? Okay. Would you excuse us for a second? I need to talk to her. I'm just going to go sit down. Yeah, sit. Was that necessary? I think so. Simone, who are you talking to? Can I talk to you outside, please? Yes, you may. Stay strong. How would you bring her to church, to Sunday school? I told you I would be there. Do you have any idea how embarrassing that was for me? Simone, I will bring whoever I choose to bring to Sunday school. That is my decision. David, I am a woman of God. And so is she. Bible study is open to anyone that wants to attend. And just because you tell me that you are coming does not constitute a date. Now, I told you that we were over. And I meant it. You are crazy. You're crazy. David, you're crazy if you're considering a relationship with that video hole. Simone, you better watch your mouth. You are in the house of the Lord. And since you have no respect for anyone else or for yourself, for that matter, at least show some respect for that. Why not? How was Bible study? Good. Okay. But I'm more interested in knowing how you are. I'm fine. I'm fine. I just... I owe you and the entire Bible study group an apology. I, I just went out to talk to Simone and I lost it. We all have our moments, right? Yeah, but I'm a representative of this church, Rachel, and I have to conduct myself in a certain way. I, I should have handled the situation differently. You know what I'm saying? Look, David, I understand you, and so does everybody else that knows you. Thanks for standing up for me. I guess I gotta get used to this, huh? What? No. No, you don't. Rachel, no one has a right to mistreat you. Especially not Simone. 
You are a child of God, and I'll be damned if God shouldn't be the only one judging you, okay? I guess I did. Wake up, Missy. It's time to go to church. I said, wake up, Missy. It's gotcha. Huh? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> well, praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go. Right now, it's good to see you. God bless you. Good morning, Brother Durham. Good morning, sister. How you doing today? How you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine, too. You know, that was a good thing you did the other day. Oh, well, thank you, sister. Here you go. Oh, praise God. Amen. Good morning, Brother Durham. Good morning. Good morning. I'm fine. It's good to see you. Oh, that's nice on you. Oh, why, well, thank you. Everybody can't wear that. <laughs> praise the Lord. How you, How you doing? doing? Good. Here you go. Now, my tithes pay for fans with a black Jesus. When they coming in? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Praise his name. Praise the Praise Lord. Lord. Sister, Good sister morning, girl. Praise the Lord. How um, you doing today? I'm all right, thank you. Come to Sunday dinner tonight? Oh, yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Oh, we're missing for the world. Uh, uh, Rachel, can I <laughs> yeah. talk to you for a minute? Sure. Hold on. Grandma, I'll be right there, okay? Oh, okay. Uh, listen, mm. uh, I want to talk to you because... Uh, I haven't had a chance to really talk to you because you've been so very busy with my brother and all, but uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> there's something I want to talk to you about. What's up? Just tell me. How's Nikki? Nicole is fine. She's out doing some missionary work with my eye. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Well, tell her I miss her, right? Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> Listen, I just want to express a little concern for my brother. Mm -hmm. okay? Look, he's been slacking off with his duties here at the church. And okay. People are starting to complain. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you're telling me this because? Well, he's really caught up with you, and I thought maybe you could encourage him to buckle down a little. Look, the okay. church is under a lot of pressure, and we need him to pull his weight. I mean, have you spoken to him about this? <laughs> no, I thought he might receive it better if it came from you. Hey! What are you all talking about? <laughs> oh, nothing. Uh, I was just asking Rachel if she wanted to help with the next church production. Eh? Well, I will help. I'll help, and um, I'll do that. I gotta go, though, because I got my audition and stuff. I'll see you guys later, okay? Rachel, what's... What you do? Do something for all the people that want having a conversation. This is welcome to the Well, when are you gonna get here? Look, you're starting to make me look bad. Well, just hurry up, all right. All right, bye. Is everything all right with Nicole? Man, she's been tripping. I, I might have to let her go, for real. You sure about that, Daryl? Man, she's not seeing the big picture. I don't know. I don't know about her. Darrell, what is she doing here? I invited her. Why, when you knew Rachel was gonna be here? Man, this is church business. Hello. This has nothing to do with your romantic life. Hello. But you still yeah. haven't told me why she's here. Man, she is part of the church production committee. She's all for service. Sister Simone, how you doing today? I'm blessed and highly favored. Right, Ditto. And blessed. Haters. <coughs> David, now I think Rachel has a wonderful idea for the script. Is that right? Well, I, I think we should all discuss that. Mm -hmm. Well, you, Simone, and I need to go over the music. Mm-hmm, the music, yes. Yeah. 
Well, that's going to have to wait. I mean, we do have to finalize the script before we can move on to the music, right? Mm -hmm. David, I need to speak with you in private. Well, that's going to have to wait as well, Simone. I mean, we can step off to the side in here, but I don't think it would be appropriate for you and I to be alone somewhere. Do, do you, Daryl? Well, when can we speak? So, you have some ideas on the script. Well, let's hear about them. Yes, please. Um, wait, how many more times can you rewrite the story, Mary and Joseph? We're not it's only one story. We're not rewriting anything. Oh, okay. All right, mm -hmm. just checking. I think I need to pack my notes. And I think I'm going to help her. Okay. Good day. Oh, rewrite Rick and Jim? Because she's not right for him. That's just a worldly phase he's going through, but I'm sure it'll pass. You know what? I'm really sick of this super Christian attitude thing you've got going on ever since your father's passing. Well, I suggest you adopt it if you're to be my wife. Because my household will be a super Christian household. Okay. Maybe I should just think about it. Hey, Daryl. Daryl, I'm talking to you, man. Daryl, man, what do you want? Now, what was that all about? That was about our staying on the word, and there's no compromising. And if she can't hang with that, then she must go. Man, don't you think you're getting a little too carried away with all this stuff? What is your problem, man? <laughs> see, you might see this as a problem, because you want to have one foot in the kingdom and one in the world. What is that supposed to mean? Look, the word says it plain, black and white. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Oh, I'm double-minded. Yeah, see, but you want to hang with this actress and listen to Tupac. Is that really what you think Daddy wanted for you? You know what I think Daddy wanted for me was for me to be happy, Daryl. For me to find someone that I could build something special with, like Mama, who used to be a nightclub singer and evolved into a great Christian woman, did she not? Don't you bring Mama into this, okay? Mama was a good, upstanding Christian woman. Hey, you know what? Who am I to pass judgment on anyone? I'm not perfect, but I do believe the good book also says, let he who is without sin cast the first stone. But I guess I wouldn't know anything about the word since I only went to pastor school and graduated. Man, put that pointing finger away and, and take a look at yourself for a minute. What is it, Simone? Look, I, I just got into it with Daryl. I'm, I'm really not trying to talk right now. What's going on? Well, I, I wanted to apologize for my behavior in the meeting today. Okay. I was out of line. Okay. Is that it? Dave, I know it's been really, really hard for you since you started dating Rachel. And her, her name is Rachel, Simone. You know that. Yeah, I'm, I apologize. Again, sorry. Um. Do you remember when you made me that promise that we would go and meet the pastor for counseling? Simone, that was when we were a couple. We're broken up now. I'm with Rachel. Why would I do that? Because a promise is a promise. And I already made the appointment. So you want me to meet with you and the pastor about us being together, even though we're not together? No. No. Hun, I just, I want us to meet with the pastor because I like to keep my promises and I know you do too. We are the future of the church, David. Listen, Simone. Uh-huh. If I have this meeting with you, you have to promise to leave Rachel and I alone to have a relationship. Will you do that? Yeah. Yes! Yes, David, yes. I will leave you and her alone to have a relationship. I wouldn't lie to you. When's the meeting? Sunday after church. Fine. Okay? Okay. Thank you so oh. much, David. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna be sorry.
Hey. I guess you and your ex-girlfriend made up, huh? What? Simone. What's up with you and Simone? Hold on, what are you talking about? Look. I saw you hugging her. Yeah, I, I hugged her, but that's that wasn't supposed to mean anything. I was keeping a promise. That's what it's all oh, about. Oh, 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 a promise. Okay, so everything is okay now, right? Because you promised. Hey, look, I promised her no, that I was- No, 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 no. Let me talk, okay? I think we should just cool it because this is going nowhere. This is going nowhere. What are okay? you talking about? We're nowhere. Doing just fine. We're not doing fine. I've been a distraction to you. And the reality is, I'm going back to where my dreams are. And they're not here, and they're not with you. Rachel. Where, where, where did all this come from? Go. Rachel. Can I sit here? Sure. How you doing today, Pops? Oh, I'm doing fine, son. It's getting a little rusty. Yeah, right. I've seen you reinvent the game way too many times to get rusty now. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, the same place you and your father used to sit and have your talks, ain't it? Yeah, it is. I sure miss my father, let me tell you. I miss my friend. You know, I bet he would have liked Rachel. Yeah. You've been seeing that girl a whole lot, ain't you? Yeah, I have, but I don't know if we're gonna be seeing each other anymore. I really don't know what's going on at this point, Pops. Grandma, I think I did the best thing in breaking it off. I don't think we can make it. None of that faithless talk in this house. Now you different when you with that man. That has to count for something. Now, David's in a tough position. Now, although I don't condone lying under any circumstances, I understand what David is. And it don't lie in running away. Now you have to stand up for your man and to your man. He needs guidance too. Me giving him spiritual guidance? Absolutely, we, we all need guidance. That's the problem with us. We so heavily bow, we no earthly good. The way I see it, son, I mean, if I could add my two cents, it's not right to ask a woman to be with you if, if you ain't gonna stand up for her. Now we all, no one, I guess, love Simone. You can't let her jeopardize the good thing that you and Rachel got going. Just can't do it. You gotta be there for her and let her know you are gonna be there for her. You know what, you're right, Pops. You're right, man. You're absolutely right. Hey, I, I, I try to tell you, I mean, I'm sure your father would have seen it the same way I seen it, you know, so go ahead. Do what you got to do, do the right thing. I'm sure everything gonna be all right. You sure? I'm sure. <laughs> hey, thanks, Pops. Nah, no problem. I'll communicate with him. I'll support him. I'll support him. Love him. I know you do. <laughs> so 
feels good. What you cooking? Chili. Mm. Not gonna eat too much of it, are you? Why? Afraid I'm gonna put on an extra pound if I eat it? Uh, Nicole, come on. I'm just trying to make, make a conversation, make a peace offering here. You know what, Daryl? I'm just starting to feel like you don't take me seriously. I mean, you do all this Christian talk, but a Christian woman is a woman of principle. You're absolutely right. I, I was out of order. What? I, I owe you an apology, and that's why I'm here. I just, I was overwhelmed with my brother and everything, and I, I took it all out on you. Your brother is his own man, and you just need to let him be. I lost my father, Nicole. My brother and you are all I have. Your brother lost his father too, baby. And you have an entire congregation of family that loves you. I know, but... I'm just constantly haunted by the thought of my, not pleasing my father, and I just want to uphold his standard. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> and your father knew that, and he also knew that you and your brother will do an excellent job at running Bethany. But you have got to stop putting so much pressure on yourself. And on your brother, you're just going to run him away. Run him away like you? Did I run you away? No. Did not. Go watch some TV. I'll get the chill. David, you want to pray? No. Want to sing? No. Hold hands. All right. I've been looking forward to this premarital counseling for a while. Premarital? Who getting married? We ain't getting married. Of course not. We don't have invitations sent out, silly. Of course not ever. We ain't never getting married. You said we were coming here to talk about being friends. Premarital counseling? Now, what seems to be the problem? What? Well, I took the liberty of composing a list. She got a list, Pastor. Hmm. He used to like my list pastor. It was one of the things that brought us together. I never liked the list pastor. You see, all these mean things are coming out now. He's actually met a video vixen, and I think they're having immoral sex together. It's OK. I know that sometimes men do that. And so I plan to stick by him and be his loyal wife, because I want to be a good pastor's wife. No, not get married. Who does things like that for somebody they're not going to be married to, pastor? Simone, there is a disconnect here. There's something you are not getting, okay? No marriage between you and me. Get it. Girl, you are crazy. Pastor, do I look crazy? Are you sure you guys aren't already married? I said, Catherine, what happened? He robbed you at night point? She said, no. I said, good point? No. I said, you go like this? <laughs> she said, no. He just started grabbing the cash. This is like, goodbye. <laughs> he was like, stop That's it. And she was trying to squeeze his hand. <laughs> Guys, it was so stupid. I know, it was dumb. <laughs> That's so typically her. It's crazy. It's so her. <laughs> you remember we used to play kickball out here? Oh, yeah. Remember Jimmy? <laughs> oh, he's so bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think my grandma's lived here forever. Uh, what made you want to come back? She's old, you know. I haven't seen her for so many years, and I might lose her any time, you know. Besides, she wanted me to come. And I can't say no to that. And I want to be here. It's my time here, you know. I want to pursue that career. I want to be a star. Sorry. I'm just glad you're back. Me too. I, I miss this place, you know? All of everything, everybody. <laughs> Who is that? That's my friend Peaches. The girl I was talking to about. She's so crazy. She's great. <laughs> Thank you.
Oh my God! Look who's here. What's up, ladies? Hey. I'm Nicole. Hi, I'm Peaches, but they should call me Cherry. <laughs> We're so sick. <laughs> so, who is this? This is Nicole, my childhood friend. This is the crazy girl I was talking to you about. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, okay. The church girl. Uh, I, yeah. I go to church, but my name is Nicole. You know, you can call me Nikki, but you can't call me church girl. Calm down, baby. It's all good. It's all good here, too. Good. <laughs> okay. Oh, Peaches, just wait for me in the house. I'm just going to wrap it up with Nicole. All right, hurry up because Duke is waiting. Yes, yes, and just, we can't keep him waiting. Okay, just give me a minute. All right? All right, Miss Peaches, go ahead. <laughs> she's crazy, I know. <laughs> but she's great. She's got a good heart, you know? <laughs> See, she's got something. Here for it, she's something. Yeah, but I think I got to go, because she's, otherwise she's going to come out. Okay. okay. Whatever. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> Remember the handshake? Uh, uh, how was it? I think. No. Oh, okay. Uh, no, Wait. no. Okay. This. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll work right, on it. I'll so work on it. We'll catch up about Daryl, all right? Bye. Hey there. Hey, baby. So much. I missed you so much. Really? Yeah. But the question is, did you miss me? How about that? Baby, I've been thinking about you every moment. I've been... Oh. <laughs> well, that's good to hear. You know, because around here, I've just been really lonely and, you know, by myself. Aww. Hanging out in the church. <laughs> I'll make it up to you. Oh, really? Yeah. I promise. You promise? No. I pinky promise. Uh oh. There you go. <laughs> you and this pinky. I know. I know. Hey, what can I do? So what's up for the weekend? Sunday dinner at Miss Estes. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> now move. <laughs> you play? Yep. A little. Anointed word, my brother. Oh, thank you, sister. <laughs> always tell the truth and shame the devil. <laughs> thank you, brother. <laughs> thank you. 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 Get off of my chest. Okay. I've come so far in my walk with God, with you. If I have to give you up, I'm gonna do it. But I just really need you to know that I am so thankful for everything you've done for me. I really appreciate it. Well, I appreciate you saying that, Simone. But the decision to walk the path is your own. Right. Not mine. I know. But uh, there are those who help us along the way, and you've helped me. I just 
just want you to know that I really appreciate you. Well, that's a very big move on your part, Simone. It's very brave of you. And I thank you for it. Forgiveness is in the Lord, but as far as I'm concerned, you are forgiven. Thanks, David. That means a lot to me. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Nicole. 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 Hey, hey, hey. Hey. What's up? Why do you ask? You don't look like yourself anymore. I, I just got a lot of things on my mind, okay? I didn't know I was wearing on my face, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Why are you in such a hurry? Look, we've only been girlfriends for what? Since we were little girls? Come on. You've always been such a comforter. It's because of you that I made it through. You're my girl. No, You're my girl. no, no. You're my girl. It's because of you that I'm making it through now. Oh, please. Come on, give me a hand. <laughs> you don't need any help. That man's falling in love with you. Oh. Yeah, I just wish Daryl was a little more supportive. Don't let Daryl get to you, okay? David is an independent thinker, you know? There's no way he's going to let anybody get in between you two. <sighs> I wish Daryl was good enough. A little more what? I don't know. He's just... It's just... He, he makes it so uncomfortable for me to be me, you know? And he, he doesn't even let anybody call me Nikki anymore. And he's just constantly putting so much then pressure on me. you better tell me. that, brother. Look, Nicole, you have a right to be who you are, just like anybody else. You know, my brother's losing it. Kind of. You know, and if you want him to respect you, you're going to have to stand up to him. Now, she stands up for herself all the time, and I can't stand it. But I love her for it. Hey, you know, I'm nobody's puppet. <laughs> he knows that. What are you guys over here cackling about fresh out of Sunday school? Oh, we were just talking, man. Thanks. Yeah. Talking you know. about what? Oh, you know, just Bible study and whatnot. Hey, but let's get out of here, Rachel. I'm hungry. Okay, let's go. Cool. Right. Right. Everybody want to leave, right? Hey, we no, got to eat. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take it easy. Uh, you too. I hope to see you at Bible study next week. Yeah. Daryl? James? What was that about? Let's just go, Daryl. What's up about? Let's go, Daryl? What was that about? Dre, how many times we gotta go over this, B? Hmm? I need you to make this thing happen now. I got you, dude. You got me. So where they at? Huh? With the girls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Psst. The girls. That's yeah. what I've been doing for the last three days. Three days? Three days. We ain't got three days. We got today. Dude, I went to the mall and the strip club. The mall. Like the, mall. the last this three nights, been looking for girls. Son, man. listen. I need this now. All right? I got a lot of paper riding on this. Peep game. Yo, what up, dude? Yo, what's good, Peach? I got a friend with you, huh? Thank you. This is my girl, the one I was telling you about, the Hollywood superstar. Yeah, right. Hi, Rachel. Nice to meet you. You got a real? I do. All right. All right, I'd like to check that out. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, aren't you just a video director? No, I'm not asking like that, but I just don't do videos. That's the reason why. <laughs> I hear you, Mom. You're feisty. I like that. Yeah, I am a video director. I don't social shoot features. Hey! Move that now! Sorry. That's okay. You know, I can tell a leading lady what I see. <laughs> Thank you. And I can tell you ain't no video chick. Well, um, I'll give you my reel mm -hmm. um, next week, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. What you doing tonight? Actually, I have Bible study class. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gotcha. You know what? I can respect that. But listen, Mom, do what you do and just get that real to me, all right? I really like to check it out. Okay. Okay?
Can't wait to see you. Okay. Nice to meet you. Okay, thank you. Thanks for understanding. Oh, no doubt. I want her. So make it happen. She got a man. A man? I don't give a damn about no church, boy. I'm the Duke. And I want her in my stable. Now make it happen. You understand me? What about a... I know what peaches taste like. Alright, I got it. I gotta go. Get your ass on out of here. Push it. Stale piece of fruit. and get some work. I got a man. Work? Y you can have all the work in the world. He wants you. I have a man. I'm unavailable. Rachel, you need to check that. I mean, are you trying to be in major motion oh. pictures? Or do you want to be a preacher's wife? Why can't I be both? Oh, I get it. And you want to be the star of the church Christmas play? Okay. Whatever. Man, what are you trying to do here? Are you trying to be in movies or are you trying to play church girl? Okay, because you, you ain't no damn church girl, Rachel. I mean, you can love God, but don't give up on your acting. Stop wasting time. You playing. I gotta go. Rachel. Sorry. Girl, you, you, you acting real stupid right now. I miss you too, baby. It's just, I've been on so many auditions lately. <sighs> I know. I know. I'll see you in a week. It's just I have to do this thing first. Mm, well, I kind of passed on that. I didn't feel comfortable with the nudity, so. Yeah, my opportunity will come. Thanks for the encouragement. Yeah, I miss you too. Okay. All right, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Get out. I want to do something fun today. Yeah, not now, Nicole. I'm gonna have to prepare for service. Why don't you um read your Bible? Feed your spirit. <laughs> I've been reading my Bible all morning. Now I want to do something regular with my boyfriend. Nicole, there's nothing regular about this walk. The work of the Lord is a constant journey. Our job is to save souls for the kingdom. There's nothing regular about that. Okay, baby, but we still have a life, okay? I'm still a woman and you're still a man. We still need to do other things. But look, I suggest you stop interacting with your worldly friends. Because this is real. Jesus is real. And he made the ultimate sacrifice for us. Okay. Sorry. You're right. I'll just go talk to my worldly friends and I'll leave you to your Bible. I'm sure you'll have beautiful children together. Nicole! Nicole! time with Rachel. What's up with that? Um, ladies, yes? I keep telling you that Rachel and David are together. What? 
I don't want him anymore. We. Okay, listen. Okay. He's over there by himself, so what you waiting on? Girl, you better go get your man. Go he is not my man. He's with Rachel, and we've talked about it. They they love each other, and I want she, them to be together. Yay. Okay, let's go. got flat feet. Listen, yes, she does. we are your girls, and we know you are fronting. That is your man, and we know you love him, and he's by himself. Go get Maybe. him. I do not have to go and get a man. God will send one to me. Do you get that? You see, we ain't got one. He ain't send us. We're waiting. Yet. You sure don't. You don't need to. Oh, but, you know what? my girl. Look, I promise you two, if I really wanted David, I would have him, but I don't. So I'm letting him go, and I'm going to make sure my nails are perfect while I'm doing it. Fine. Uh, We're going to go get us a man. You stay right here and be real godlike. Mm -hmm. We can Billy D. Praise us. Yo, where's my girl? Well, she at home. She didn't want to come to the video set. Yo, you ain't on your job, and that don't make me happy. If I push her, she gonna step off. I mean, she is your girl, ain't she? Yeah. Well then, handle your business, and maybe your life will get better. Baby, I'm doing the best that I can, but I can't make her do anything. I'm serious, Peaches. Yo, Duke the Limo is here. We got a roll, B. Can I roll? Hell no! Take your dusty ass back on and do what I told you to do. That's what? Family, it's time to get ready to bless the food and eat. <laughs> I'd like to bless you, Esther. Calm down, Gene. Oh, come on now. You know me. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> Did you invite someone else? Not that I know of, well, but you know Bethany is my second home and everybody's welcome. I'm gonna go check out. Can I help you? Oh, we're here for Sunday dinner. Mm-hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. And who invited you? Baby Jesus, who invited you? Well, praise the Lord. Oh, David. You ladies arrived just in time. We were just about to bless the food. Come go here and find yourself Thanks, a seat. Esther. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us gather hands here, and we're going to bless this our food. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this meal, Lord, and we ask you to bless the cook that prepared it, Lord. Oh, Lord, bless these saints that have assembled themselves here to partake of this delicious meal. Lord, bless their going in and their coming out. Lord, we thank you for the blessings on this day. How you blessed us so many, many times before. And we know by request, Lord, that if we ask again, you will bless us surely once again. Lord, we thank and praise you today for this blessing. The, the food sounds good, the mood is good, and we just thank you for all this bounty, Lord. Thank you for this good times, and we thank you for the blessings, Lord. And bless Peaches, too. Because she got it going straight on. We want to keep it that way. <laughs> Don't forget to say a prayer for a planner. Child, go wash your hands. Then come sit your butt down before I take a belt to it. Yes, ma'am, Miss Esther. Uh, and everybody that agrees with that prayer, let us say amen. 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 These beans, Miss. Oh, they sure are good. 
David. Did Simone let you know she joined Sunday Bible School? Shh. Addie, that is personal business. Congratulations, Simone. That's great. Thank you, David. I'm glad I did that for the great. Sure you did. Honey, you with? Yes. Thanks, baby. Didn't I see you on a music video? She don't do no videos. <laughs> and what you doing watching videos, church girl? Watch out, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Only in the church to watch videos. <laughs> yeah, I know that's right. Because I love me some videos. Uh, I like that boy. Wow, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Klinger, Klinger. Yeah, yeah. yeah Live down the street there. Yeah, and and I love his. And uh, that, that well, I don't know if they friends, but I love that other boy too. Uh, 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 Linda Chris. Yeah, he be shaking. <laughs> Jane, stop it. But I'm gyrating and everything at the table. But, but I'd rather watch you, baby. You know. <laughs> this is really good, Miss Esther. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, poodle pup peaches. It is peaches, isn't it? Yes, it is. How can I help you, Whitley? Oops, my bad. Where's your church home? B of A. Excuse me? Bank of America. Down now in Slauson and Jefferson, every time I cash a check, I say, praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> this food is amazing, Miss Esther. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, watch your paws, baby. Nicole, I think you look fabulous. Don't you think so, honey? Yeah, I think she looks great. Yeah. Shoot. I think Nikki look good enough to be in a video. Look, her name is Nicole. And what is your name? Because I know your mother didn't name you Peaches. First of all, I have parents, not just a mother, and they named me Elizabeth. My nickname is Peaches because when I was a kid, I wanted to move to Georgia and eat peaches all the time. <laughs> is my story not exciting enough? Because you look a little bored. Miss Esther, thank you for inviting me, but I'm going to be going. Nicole? Come on, Are you going to continue sitting here and indulging in gluttony? Or are you going to go with me? Oh, I'm going to stay if you don't mind. I'm going to pass me green. Thank I believe you just left me out there like that. Left you out there like that? Look, man, I'm not your woman. And you are out of line anyway. Man, you know what, though? Speaking of my woman, man, I don't, I don't know about her anymore. Man, shoot the ball. Oh, you want me to shoot the ball? Oh, OK, well, how, how you like that? How's that? OK. But what you wanted to do anyway? <laughs> I don't know, maybe uh, support her man? Support her man? You embarrassed her, brother. You humiliated her. I mean, I'm really surprised she ain't go she off in a... She ain't go off in what? Pull a Rachel and act like a rat? You know what? You need to watch your mouth there. Uh, I ain't like you, man. I support my girl. Your girl? <laughs> man, come on. What are you going to do with that? What? <sighs> man, don't tell me you seriously considering a relationship with that woman. That woman? Yeah, that woman, man. Think about it. Simone is going to church, to Bible school. Your girl is going off to shoot some video. You know what, man? For the last time, she doesn't do videos, dog. All right? You know what? Conversation over. While you're so busy passing judgment on people, you about to miss out on the best thing you ever had. Oh, man, come on back here. Quit being like that. Mm. I don't know. I think we might need something more than this pledge, because, you know, Pastor's spitting all over here. He musty, too. Oh, yeah. Spitting and musty. His funk is religious. So, Simone, what are you going to do? 
What do you mean? She means what are you gonna do about David? David? I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna let the Lord handle it. Mm, well, it looks like God is handling it in Rachel's favor. Mm-hmm. Things aren't always as they seem. Really? If you must know, Daryl is on my side, and as long as he is, Rachel won't be around for long. Well, I sure hope you're right, because it looks like, to me, they're getting pretty serious. Real serious. Mm -hmm. I mean, really serious. Ladies, I have help from the best possible person, and you don't have to worry about me. I'm not gonna let some video tramp come in and reap all the benefits that I put into that man. Amen to that, sister. You got that right. Did y'all give to the special offering? Oh, I gave like two weeks ago. I get paid bi-weekly. Yeah. What do you mean? Simone's a better woman for David. She's not even into her. Well, he will be when he's done with this foolish phase. Why are you so entrenched in this situation? Because he's my brother. And that means what? He's not a little kid. Yeah, but he's still my brother. And he's a member of this ministry. Therefore, he sets an example and he needs to set a good one. Of course, I'm sorry. By being with someone he doesn't love. Why don't you just mind your business? I would love to mind my own business, Daryl. But I date you, remember? Watch your mouth, woman. Oh, so now I've been reduced to woman? Well, you know what? Why you're so worried about your brother's relationship? You just lost your own. Yeah, that'll be your loss. You would feel that way, wouldn't you? Get out of my house. We had a deal. Now I'm handling mine. Handle yours. Oh, girl, I gotta take this call. Okay. Hello? Yeah. Listen, man, I got a lot of paper riding on this. Don't play with my money. You work for me, so work for me, or else you will be replaced with the quickness, all right? Listen, man, you got till the no you got till tomorrow noon. You keep playing with me. I'll cut all this thing off. I'll make it happen like that. Now don't play with my money. I got a lot riding on this. Yeah. Alright, peace. I'm sorry, Bob. Sure, it's okay. You know, these little business deals, people be trying to mess with your money. It's all right. But listen, I'm glad you came down, because mm -hmm. I wanted to tell you that um, I talked to one of my boys, and uh, he's got you set up for a screen test, but it's movie day he's about to shoot. I'm sorry, what? I want you in it. You're kidding. Nah, I'm not kidding. It's me? You're kidding me. No, I'm not kidding you. You're kidding me. <laughs> no, you were a screen test. How do you like that? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna tear it up. Oh, I'm gonna tear it up too. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy. Yeah. Oh no, it's all but good. But just like, so. For sure. Baby. Listen, listen. I believe in you, Rachel. Wow, you know I, what I'm saying? I, you just put me in shock, though. Oh, it's all good. Listen, you're going to blow up, for real. <laughs> you're going to be the next Holly. Believe that. Listen, I just want you to go in there and just do what you do, right? All right. Make it happen. I will. Believe me, I will. Okay, now. Okay? Look, right, I promise. Right, <laughs> okay, so listen, um, wow. I figure we can, uh, you know, go grab a bite to eat so I can school you on how to handle this thing. When? Wait, wait, now? Yeah, why not? I got Bible study classes. Look, Rachel. You know, you're trying to be a star of what? Hmm? I mean, I'm trying to help you here. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of chicks out there that love, they would jump at this opportunity, all right? I mean, I got a woman at home that I'm neglecting because I'm about my business. I need you to step up to the plate and be about yours. I mean, we all got to make sacrifices. So what's it going to be? Screen test or Bible study? So all I got to do is make the call. No, of course not. Come on. We're going to do this, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. That's we're my girl. Do, That's no, what we're talking gonna, about. We're going to do this. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Cool. Bye-bye. 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 No, we'll do it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Bye. Yeah. Ooh, what y'all going to do? Oh, Tell we're going to celebrate. <sighs> okay. You are? We're going to business dinner regarding a screen test for Miss Me. <laughs> Yeah, she got to up. Hot stuff. You got to come with us. Nah, you know, I got to get my nails done, but um, I can catch up with you afterward. Girl, you can do those nails later. Now is my moment, and you can do that anytime. Tell her. Yeah, her day. Come on. Well, okay then, if you insist. <laughs> come on, let's go. I'm so excited. Go on, Wow, that was interesting. Be right there. <laughs> Honey, how are you? Good lord, girl. Oh, how did I look? Where are you going? I left your message. I gotta go to the valley. Duke wants me to sign some like management stuff. Hey, hey it's kinda late, but by the time you get out there, it's gonna be past midnight. I know, but you know, all these entertainment stuff usually happens at night, so... Yeah, I, I understand that, but, but I... I'll handle it, don't worry, okay? Baby, I'll handle it. Yeah? Okay. Let's go! I'll call you when I get there, okay? See you. All right. See you. Okay. It's ready? ready? You're always late. I'm sick of it already. Oh, sorry. It wasn't me this time. What up, David? Hi, Peaches. You got a Bible in your back pocket? <laughs> Don't forget to say a prayer for a plan. <laughs> okay, let's go. This commandment I have received of my father. You know, this is really nice. I never shared a moment like this with anybody. At least not with you. Honest, and, and I really don't like what I've become. Look, Daryl, not right now, okay? But I have to right now. Look, I can't lose you. You're all that I have. And I really love you. Things are different now. Oh, and oh, I just... oh, don't say it. Don't, don't say that, please. Look, Nicole, ever since we first met, I knew that you were my wife. And I expected to teach you all these things, but instead you, you taught me. Look, I don't want to continue going like this. I just been hurt because of the loss of my father and everything, but look, you are the one who's truly for me. Nicole, I'm sorry, but I have to get to work. I'm real sorry, James. This is important. I understand. Daryl. James. Uh, you know what? I knew you'd come through. 
That's why you're my favorite girl, for real. Don't you mean girl? Did I stutter? I meant girl. So what makes me your favorite girl? I mean, come on, look at you. I mean, you've been all over the place, you know what I'm saying? You know how to distribute the goods in all the right places. Some of us don't have a Bible beaten crap. <laughs> well, you can borrow mine anytime you like. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Very funny. Come on, this looks funny. Why don't you slow your roll? I mean, you ain't supposed to be hating you, huh? Need to smoke some more of this weed or something. Oh, that hater, eh? <laughs> For real. Seriously, you know oh, what? Man. Maybe I just need to leave you here with your other boyfriend. Your world boyfriend. At least I got one. <laughs> <laughs> I was cold. She got you. <laughs> Rachel, I know you're not trying to play yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I need some alone time. <laughs> Peaches. Sorry, Duke. I've been out all night. I gotta oh, go. No, 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 no. You owe me something. Dude. I mean, I let you sleep last night. I'm ready to collect. Dude, chill. I want hey, chill. I want collect. Duke, Duke, what are you I doing? Want my... Chill! What are you doing? Are you crazy? Oh, you like the rough stuff, huh? Come on now. You ain't gotta play that church girl role with me. That way too, girl. Come on, you gonna give me this good. Just talk. Give me one. Leave me alone. Give me one. Oh, what happened? Come on now, Rachel. Don't lie to me. What happened to you? Nothing happened. Talk to me, Rachel. What's going on? Nothing happened, but it could have happened. What could have happened? Nothing, nothing I do seems to be right. I try and I try and I try and nothing hey, happens. Hey, hey, hey. Listen. If this is what you want, you're going to have to keep trying. You're going to have to keep working hard. The Lord made it that way. That's how it is when success is waiting on you. You got to find strength, Rachel. And keep moving forward. That's the only way you're going to make it. So people like Duke can come and walk all over me? There's no place for me anywhere. I don't have a place in church. I don't have a place in business.
you'll always have a place with me. Okay? I love you just the way you are. And if you ask me, the only way you're going is up. I don't know what you do, but it doesn't look like you're doing too well. I love you. I really do. Do you really? You promise? I pinky promise. So what happened with this Duke guy? Do I have to go over there and handle him or what? No, no. I handled him. I used my Joshua. Oh, did you? Yeah. The Tybo came in handy. That's my girl. something very special happening in my life right now and um, something very special happening in Rachel's life as well uh, what I'm what I'm trying to say is we're getting married <laughs> No, that's all beautiful and all, but I have to object to this. What? Yeah, please. No, 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 no. This wedding can't be, unless it's going to be a double wedding. Come on. What? Oh my God. Will you marry me? Yes. I <laughs> have a really nice smile. Times like these when I'm just I'm just so overwhelmed. I'm so proud of you and, and, and I know your father's proud of you, you know? He was my best friend. And if he would be here, I know what he would say. Thank God. And and that's what I want to do. I want all of us to join hands and gather around the table. All this love here, we've got to praise God for this. So if y'all don't mind, would you do me a favor? And let's all just join hands and give God the highest honor and the highest praise because truly this is a blessed day and a blessed time. Oh, Heavenly Father, we give thee thanks for yet another day. Oh, yes, Lord. We thank thee, dear Lord, how you blessed us with children who have good lives and want to serve you, Lord. Yes, we want to honor and glorify your name, Lord. For truly today you allowed us to gather ourselves together and remember what you did so long ago. How you gave us salvation, Lord. And we thank you for it. And because of that salvation, we're able to show love. Love for one another as we were instructed. And we just thank you for that positive influence of love. We thank you, Lord, for this food, for the cook that prepared it. 
Lord, we just thank you for the bounty in our lives. We pray for beautiful weddings for these two couples, and, and, and we couldn't ask for anything more, for truly you blessed us and enriched our lives tremendously today. And we're thanking you in the name of our yes. Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and all that agree, say amen. 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 amen.